Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So the garden is in full mode right now. Things are coming out of it left, right, and center. And I'm having to find ways to preserve these foods quickly. So this is what we got out of the garden this morning. And the tomatoes I'm going to freeze until I have enough to do either stew tomatoes, diced tomatoes, or try my hand at ketchup. And I'm going to process the cucumbers as fridge pickles. My cucumber harvest this morning from the garden. Sorry about the lighting. It's about to start storming. So I decided not to do any canning that required me to use my electric stove. I'm otherwise going to be doing some refrigerator uh, cucumbers, pickles, whatever you want to call them, and putting these into the fridge. And yeah, just in case my electric goes out, at least my fridge will stay cold for a little while. And I'm not trying to maintain or trying to figure out how to can with no electricity. So this is what I'm going to be doing for my every little bit counts challenge. Yeah. So I'm going to make refrigerator pickles. So as a child, I remember um, having all the time, my mom used to have uh, cucumbers in the fridge in a white bowl with like a saucer on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quart size jar and do that. So I'm thinking it might take two or three. I have actually I put four aside that I sterilized and sanitized, washed up. And hopefully these... I can get a good bit out of these. I'm not sure about these funny shapes, but that's what came off the tree outside. So she sometimes um, peeled them and sometimes didn't. So I think I'll do one peeled and one not. And I'm going to do one with some dill in it because I have so much dill outside in the garden. And then I'm just going to do one just regular. Okay, so I got my cucumbers all cut up. I did do one. Actually, I did two quarts without the skin on it and I did uh, take the seeds out because part of my family doesn't like the seeds and I did one just the regular cut it with the skin on and the seeds and I do have a couple of pints of this brine that I did for the relish in my last video or the video before that when I did the sweet relish so I'm going to use that in at least one or two of these I'm going to make one with dill and then I'm going to make one regular that my mom used to make. Basically, it's just um, vinegar and salt. And, and I'm probably going to do one of these because that's the way some of them like it in this family. But um, So I'm going to do one like that. And then probably the rest, I'm going to use either this or, um, yeah, I'm going to use this, the uh, brine from the... Um, relish and I'm gonna put dill in one of them so the rain has begun and I'm gonna dash out here really quickly to get some dill I should have done this before the rain started okay so my first two I'm gonna put the brine from my sweet relish in here I've already put this one in and this is the one that has a dill in it and then I'm gonna put another pint into this one that has I'm trying to do this and talk it's like <laughs> rubbing your stomach and patting your head um, and I'm just putting it until it starts to cover the pickles or the cucumbers whatever there'll be pickles later and then these last two I'm just getting to put the white vinegar and some seasonings okay on so them. for these last two I had a little bit of the brine left from that sweet relish so what I did was it was about a quarter of a cup I just put a little bit into each of these you can see there's a little bit of liquid in the bottom of these so I'm going to put the salt in and I am using half a teaspoon not a lot of salt in each of them and I am using the Redmond's real salt so we'll see how we like this this is the first time I'm using this in anything since I got it in my last Azure order so I'm doing half a teaspoon in each because it does have some salt from the brine and then I'm just going to fill it the rest of the way with just some white distilled vinegar if you can see that just white distilled vinegar that camera angle is kind of crazy today 
but isn't that always the case with me? So, yeah, I gotta go and get some more white vinegar. This is why you should have, and I'm not gonna fill it all the way to the top because that salt is gonna bring out some of the water out of the pickles, cucumbers, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all filled. This is what the Finnish refrigerator or fridge pickles or cucumbers look like. I have, in this one, is just salt and vinegar. This one I have, again, just the salt and vinegar and a little bit of that brine that was left over for my sweet relish, not much. And this one I have the brine from the sweet relish. And these are cut up, skinned, cut up, and the, it's the seeds we're taking out. And then this one is my sweet relish with the seeds in and the skins off. Usually I do my brine and I will add some of this. For my fridge pickles or cucumbers whatever you want to call them but I haven't been able to find this anywhere and it's not that much left in here and I do want to um, use this that's left I'm going to be doing some bread and butter pickles um, the next time I get a good batch of cucumbers coming out of the garden so I wanted to save this for that so this is what I'm going to be putting in my fridge and I have done these before um, with a brine that I make um, on the stovetop with, like I said, this, and let it cool, and then put it in, and you know what? This is a lot easier, and I'm glad I can my prime, my brine from the sweet relish. So we'll see how that goes. And this is the one that has that dill in it. You can see the dill right there. So we'll see how that goes with the relish brine. And I'll let you know in um, maybe a couple of days how it tastes. Did want to tell you that I do shake them up just to get that salt dissolved and everything coated with the vinegar. I'll shake them all up like that. Um, that's where these tops come in handy. You can use the regular mason jar tops if you want to, but I use these. They're called leek type from Bowl, and I don't know if you can see that. I think they're called leek lock. Oh, leak proof, it says on the top. But I just shake them up so everything is coated in the brine. And then I'll put them in the fridge. And literally, they will last a long time in the fridge. I have used these um, all through the winter out of my fridge. Yes, I have. So six, eight months in the fridge, they will keep. I've used them. We're still alive. So they will definitely keep in your fridge for a long time. So I did taste test them and I do prefer the one with the sweet relish brine on it and they are both delicious. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.